はいはい What's up, everybody? How is it going?、Uh, I'm not in the garage today, as you can see. I'm hanging out in the、uh, gaming room. And、uh, so, not every、uh, video needs to be about actually modding your car because a lot of times you need to go through the planning and research phase of modding your car. And I want to introduce a new series to the channel called Tech Talk Tuesday, where、uh, we kind of talk through the process of modding your car, what it takes. Uh, how to do the research and the planning and things like that. So, yeah, let's get started. And uh, hopefully, uh, every Tuesday ish, I know we'll record, I'll record on a Tuesday, but I do have a day job for now. So,、uh, it may not be every single Tuesday, but、um, as, as long as we got topics going, we'll, we'll do a Tech Talk Tuesday. All right, let's do it. Topic number one for Tech Talk Tuesday is going to be my top five first car mods. Here's the first mod you should do to your car. When you have decided,、uh, scenario would be like you bought your first car that, you're in that you intend to take to autocross or a track day. And you're either you've done one or two of those and you're excited and you want to continue on and, and make yourself faster. And so these would be my top five mods. Or you know you want to get into autocross or a track day or something like that. And you're, you're already itching to spend money on the car, which is awesome.、Um, and so this would be my top five mods、uh, to make yourself go faster. Huge caveat. I'm not a professional race driver. I am not a certified mechanic. I'm not a crew chief. I don't own a racing team. None of that stuff. I am a YouTube DIYer,、uh, just like most of you. And so, this is, in my opinion, after spending、uh, multiple years modding my car, participating in autocross day and, and track day events and, and the like, and participating in the, my local car communities, my cars and coffees that are local to me, and、uh, Facebook groups and stuff like that. Uh, and so, in my experience, these are the top five mods you can do to your car. That said, before you start modding your car or you start driving your car at the limits that you'll be driving it at when it comes to autocross and track days, make sure you've done all required maintenance on your car. Make sure your brakes are sound. Make sure all your fluids are topped off and your oil's changed and all that stuff.、Uh, and actually, a lot of sanctioning bodies like the SCCA, NASA, the 1010s、uh, Motorsports Club, They will post、uh, a self tech sheet、uh, to go through and, and tech your own car and make sure、uh, your car is, is technically sound, mechanically sound. Go through that list first before you start modding your car. That way, your car will, your car is going to experience more lateral G's, more、uh, you know, acceleration and, and braking than it normally does on, on day to day roads. So, make sure everything is in tip top condition before you start actually doing any of these mods. All right. Caveat out of the way. Let's go with the number one then. My number one upgrade、uh, to start off with is tires. Tires, tires, tires. So, most cars come with、uh, either like an all season or、uh, if you're definitely for buying used,、uh, a lot of people put on you know, the cheapest tires they can put on there and they move on with their life. But,、uh, which means、uh, it's a, usually a tire that's more focused on longer tread life, longer tread wear than stickiness. And so, stickier tires make you faster. You don't have to go with full racing slicks. In fact, you should not go with full racing slicks to begin with. But、uh, the number one mod to decrease those times on an autocross track or a track day is just going to be a set of stickier tires. Go with、um, a 300 ish tread wear tire, or even if you want to go a little more aggressive, you can go a 200 tread wear tire. There's lots of popular 200 tread wear tires. Uh, they'll wear a little bit faster. The lower that number, the faster they're going to wear, but、uh, the stickier they'll be. And、uh, so, flat out,、uh, the stickier the tire you have, especially on a warmer day,、uh, like a, an extreme summer tire, that、uh, when you're going around corners, you're not going to push as much. You're going to be able to grip a lot better through that corner. So, and the faster you go,、uh, the more that grip is important. So, yeah, number one, tires. Number two, alignment. More specifically, a track oriented alignment. So, what I mean by that is when you go to any、uh, alignment shop or tire shop and say, I need to get my car alignment done,、uh, what, what they're doing is they're neutralizing the caster and camber and toe alignment of all four tires to make it as neutral as possible so that the tread wear、uh, wears nice and evenly on all four tires. However, when you're doing aggressive cornering,、uh, as you go around the corner and the weight shifts on those tires, You're going to have、uh, a less even contact patch. 
So the more tire on the road, the better, but if you do a neutral alignment as you go around the corner, you're more on the edge of those tires than you would be if you do a track alignment, which means typically it's just uh, some positive camera, meaning your front wheels are leaning in just a little bit by a couple of degrees. So when you go around that corner at high speeds, that outside tire gets flat and now you're using that full tread width on that outside tire so you can corner faster. Uh, so yeah, my number two would be a, a more aggressive uh, track alignment. A lot of companies, aftermarket companies I should say, um, post alignment recommendations. So if you find a good aftermarket community for a Miata, for instance, you're talking about uh, Racing Beat or Flying Miata as a big one. They have on their websites uh, recommended alignment for track days uh, to, to speed up your track day. And so um, I'm sure there is an equivalent for Honda Civics and your Golf GTIs and your Subarus and things like that. So go find that aftermarket site that, or forum or, or Facebook group or whatever that will recommend what track alignment um, you should go with and then go find a local alignment specialist and get it done. Mod number three, your sway bar or anti-sway bar or anti-roll bar. Same, all, all three names mean the same thing. Uh, so going with a stiffer sway bar will help reduce that body roll. So as you're going around a corner and the weight of that car shifts to the outside, a sway bar will, it links uh, each, the suspension components on each side of the car through the frame to each other. So when there's stress on one, the other one will, will counterbalance that. And the car, the, will, it'll reduce the body roll or that, that weight shift and flatter through the corners is faster through the corners, typically. I'm not saying this will work for every single car. And also, uh, front uh, wheel drive versus rear wheel drive will be slightly different. On a, on a rear wheel drive, you're gonna want a beefy front sway bar. On a front wheel drive, you're gonna want a beefy rear sway bar. So figure out which sway bar works the best and upgrade accordingly. Mod number four, that's actually you. So my recommendation is uh, go to your autocross event, go to your track day event, or whatever. Find an instructor that will ride with you. Track day events, you're going to start off in the novice group and you're going to have, you're going to be stuck with an instructor regardless. I say stuck, it's actually a great thing. So the best way to, I've found, to improve your own times is to spend time in the car with an instructor uh, who is familiar with your car type. So find another instructor, find an instructor that drives uh, a Miata, if you drive a Miata or, or whatever and they'll be able to kind of sit in that passenger seat and as you're going through, they'll be able to tell you which corner uh, you could do better on, uh, where you could be accelerating quicker or braking later or, or whatever. Um, getting some instruction from somebody who is experienced will legitimately and every time help you go faster as long as you listen to them and kind of apply that to yourself. Uh, I will say that um, number five, which I'll get to in just a second, uh, could probably be swapped with number four uh, if you're doing autocross first, sit with an instructor. If you're doing uh, a track day first, then uh, number five would actually be my recommendation. And number five is uh, upgrade, swap out your, your existing um, brake fluid for high temp brake fluid. And that's because, especially with a track day, uh, you're doing uh, 20 to 30 minute sessions a couple of times a day usually. and as those sessions go on and as you break and break and break, uh, you really heat those brakes up. And for your first couple of times, you're not going to be going really fast enough, I don't think, to have to warrant upgrading uh, rotors and brake pads necessarily. Um, but brake fluid, uh, if you go with a higher temp brake fluid, meaning that boil point is a little bit higher, uh, you're less likely to um, start heating that brake fluid up to a point where you experience brake fade. Brake fade reduces confidence and things like that. So. Uh, really quick recap here for number four can be swapped out with number five if you're doing autocross first sit with an instructor and then as you get more confident and better at autocross and then maybe transfer into those track days look at upgrading that high that brake fluid to high temp fluid uh, if you're going to do your your track days first um, upgrade that brake fluid and then get with an instructor and and do ride-alongs and get some of that experience with an instructor it'll really really help out that is it. That's my top five. I want to know what you think. What would you change? What would you, uh, did I get it wrong? Did I get it right? Uh, notice I didn't mention add horsepower with a turbo or a supercharger or go with big brake kit or anything like that. Uh, that stuff will come later. 
when you first get into it, you really need to learn how to drive your car as it is before you start going crazy with the mods. These will make you progressively faster, which will just continue to add to the fun and your confidence. And as you go faster and as you start to outdrive the limits of your own car, then you can look into that next step, which is add some more power. And after that, basically the mods kind of start feeding off each other. As you add power, you need to add more brakes. You need to add more in the suspension department to, to maintain control of the car, things like that. So those mods will start to kind of push each other uh, as, you, as you increase each one of those. Um, so let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. Go to bradscarmods.com, get yourself a t-shirt or a sticker or a keychain maybe. And I uh, look forward to the next one. Talk to you next time. See you. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, if you like what you saw on and Tech Tick, Tech, 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 tech Talk Tuesday, um, yeah, hopefully. Mm.